Will you join me in prayer? Thank you, O Lord, for the gift of this day, for the gift of your word, and the gift of people to share it with. Lord, we thank you for the gift of these means of, of transmitting good news and sharing a prayer, not only over vast distances, but Lord, over time and space in its vastness. Lord, there may be people a week from now, a year from now, who join us in this prayer. Lord, we are thankful that the prayers of today are not gone at the, at the last breath of the prayer. But as we experience them in a, in a greater sense, Lord, we begin to understand how the words given to you by all your people resonate with you. That they are, they are upheld in praise before you. And that you hear them all. Lord, hear the prayers of our hearts, especially as we now offer you our thanksgiving. For the goodness that fills our lives and the opportunities that we've been given. The friends that we share the journey and those who challenge us along the way. Lord, we pray for neighbors whom we are called to love. And Lord, we pray for communities where our love and work and witness of the gospel is declared and shown among people that we spend the rest of our lives with. Lord, we pray for those who are busy on their way, who are gathering themselves onto fruitless labors. Lord, we pray for those who extend their journey um, to fruitless ends and make their lives about the mechanisms of this life that fade and pass away. Lord, help us to be a better witness of those things which do not pass away. Your love that shows, that helps us each to grow. Lord, we pray in from our own place of ministry and mission, we pray for the ministries and missions that go on all over the world. The people that for praise of you are hard at work building people's homes or who are helping build up communities that have been rocked by disaster. Lord, we pray for churches and congregations that are struggling just to be, that are overwhelmed by the expense of their buildings, by caught up are caught up in, in upholding old traditions that are not fruitful in this day and age. Lord, we pray for those who are in Christ but are also caught in traps of worldliness. Lord, we ask you to, to guide your church to a new and reviving day. That we might find the means and the ability and the words and the opportunity to speak out, speak openly, and reach out into people's lives. Lord, help us to, to speak in those tongues that touch each language. Lord, help us to, to find the words that will reach people's lives and, and, and draw them into your word that they will not see the bible as some ancient text but as a living word that speaks to this day and this time and our shared experience as we seek to share and experience in your love lord we pray for those who are busy in the work of caring whether they're trained professionals coming into people's homes or they are loving neighbors and members of the community who who step up when people are in need. Lord, we pray for the needs of seniors, especially seniors that are shut in their homes all year round, who really can't get out and do much, but are very thankful for those who can come in and help. Lord, we pray for those who are waiting to transition in their level of care to care facilities and care homes and nursing homes. Lord, we have a shortage of such facilities. And so, Lord, we pray for families that are struggling to to make up the difference and to do that work and to care for their loved ones and help them stay in their homes. And Lord, it is not easy. And Lord, we ask your, your blessing upon people who are making their lives about caring for others in some way. Lord, we pray for those especially who have stepped and do step into danger to make sure that our communities, even our society, our nation, even the world are safe. Are, are safe from danger, from hurt, from, from evil. And we do, not, we do know and admit before you that we recognize evil as a real thing. 
And it's not just the the big baddies out there and the, the ones who are obviously up to, to mischief and trouble. But Lord, we speak of those who make excuses for the bad that they do and who nonetheless continue to set bad examples for friends and family. Lord, who, who might at, attend worship and then in the next breath, Lord, do something that is offensive to you. Lord, silence our ability to make bad excuses. Lord, teach us to be responsible for our actions and inactions. Lord, hear us as we come together to pray, praying the words that Christ Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen.